and welcome to Let's Cook It. Today we want to make uh, nachos, uh, the Dorito Nacho Supreme. I have some a green onion I'm gonna chop. Voila. Let's bring the bowl here to put all the toppings in and give it a little mix first. And I have some red pepper and orange pepper. Voila. And let's give it a little mix here. Nice, here we go. This is gonna be the toppings for the nachos. Aluminum foil. Now let's start with our first layer. Uh, I'm using here the cheesy uh, Dorito chips. It's a corn chips, gluten-free people, they're okay to have it. So I'm gonna put the first layer. Doesn't have to be perfect. As long as completely covered, you don't see the bottom. So when you put topping and stuff, so do the job perfectly. Now what I want to do here, I just want to do a little, little bit of the topping we put in the middle because we're doing it two layers. Because you don't want to have like first layer full of toppings and cheese and 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 then you end it up when you dig in the bottom just the plain chips. Put another. Now you can do some cheese here. Put them on the side. Let's fix this one a little bit. That's gonna be yummy now. Beautiful. There we go. Let's see our gadget here if we'll do the job. Let's take a look. Nice, beautiful. Look at that. That's what I need here. Let's put the blade on the side here. And it looks like a ground beef. There we go. Now we're going to finish it with the cheese. And as I said, I'm mixing cheddar cheese and mozzarella cheese. You can do it straight here. Or you can shred the cheese before, which is I have them here ready. And I can use them. Here we go. Nice. Just like maybe a little touch here on top. And we leave a little bit when we finish cooking it. Your oven is depends on the oven you're using. Uh, me, I'm using countertop oven, so it depends on the oven you're using. Roughly between six to eight minutes on the 350, or wait till you see the cheese completely melted and the chips start giving you the brown baking color, so it's good to go. And as I said, always depends on the oven you use. Now, put it in the oven. There we go. Now, by the time we're waiting for the nachos, uh, I'm gonna make the salsa. So, this is the main ingredients for the nacho, it's the salsa. Now, you can buy the jar from the store, but nothing beat the homemade salsa, and especially this recipe. You gotta try it, and you gotta love it. Beautiful. 
and your homemade salsa good to go you try it and you're gonna love it now let's transfer our salsa into the bowls here just take the blade out just in case for safety yummy look at this oh nice nice look at this beautiful beautiful here we go now you can put salsa and sour cream as well if you want your homemade salsa I gotta show it to you a little closer before we start so here we go this is your Doritos Nacho Supreme with the Italian sausage and let's give a try now right voila look at the cheese melting beautiful nice a little bit salsa mmm wow wow it's a natural to die for it's a natural to die for so you should start making this at home and don't forget to like and subscribe and really I have to let you go because I can't wait to start with this natural take care and we'll see you next time mm -hmm.